Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, have you heard of Clever Paper? Well, if you haven't, no worries. That's exactly what we're going to take a look at today. But they are a Russian manufacturer of cardstock wargaming terrain kits. And yeah, I just happened to put together a few. And we're going to go over the pros and cons of these. These were not sent to me for review. In fact, after I heard about them, immediately onto my Amazon wish list, they went. You might be able to find them from an actual distributor website, but honestly, for me, Amazon was the, just the simplest. Um, and then these were actually gifted to me. Today, September 7th, is my birthday, and yeah got several of these as my B-Day present, put them together, got them a few days ago, so I've been working on them over the past couple days. They take very little time, maybe 20 minutes to a half hour, depending on how complex they are to assemble. Each of the buildings comes with 10 to 12 of those 2D miniatures you see there totally unique so you know the only way you'll ever double up on a figure is if you get two of the same kind of building why would you ever want to do that well perhaps to elongate your city wall and so here is an example of one kit the last kit i have not put together yet in fact is another city wall and i'm gonna want multiple city walls you know because they are fantastic for several reasons where do I even begin with this? So how did I discover these? Clever Paper, just YouTube search Clever Paper. There are at least a few in English YouTube reviews where they talk about this terrain as a hidden gem for wargaming terrain. You know, you talk about pre-painted terrain like Miniature Building Authority or Dwarven Forge has their city builder system. That's a pretty penny. These buildings come fully artified. I mean, how else are you going to describe it? They're full color punch out of decent thickness. You can see there, it's like board game counter punch boards, decent thickness cardstock, and, a, an, and even a slight breeze will <laughs> blow over some of these little figures. So definitely be wary of that. Anyone who's sneezing at the table, maybe have them turn the other way. But anyway, so these are about 10 to $20 per building, and they are fully functional. Now, what does that mean? Well, where should we begin here? Let's go ahead and start right here. Let's just grab a sample building. Obviously, some of the things like the balconies and stuff, you're probably not going to be able to fit a 25 you know, millimeter base, but these bases, these foam little bases that the 2D figures come with fit right in there. So as long as you're using those figures, the balconies and stuff can be playable. Here's an example of a bakery. Now look at this. You might be able to see in the light, the cardstock is textured. So not only is it gorgeously painted, but it's textured. You can feel the tiles. You can feel the Tudor work. You can feel the stone work. I mean, you can actually feel each and every stone. Okay, so this bakery. You have access to all of the interiors. The entire interior is furnished by way of painted features on the wall. Staircases inside. The ceilings are painted. Every little detail, there's a little fireplace in there. Doors open. Absolutely, and like you just saw me open this whole building up to access this interior. So you can lift off roofs to look inside. You can open the buildings up to get inside. Here is another, here's like an attic space upstairs in this one. I mean, how gorgeous is this? All right, so I'm also going to grab a figure here just to show some scale oh who should we grab just a typical this is a 25 28 millimeter 
Ralpartha metal, Ironwind metals figure. Now you can see the threshold of these doors is slightly raised off the ground. They aren't all that way. Let's grab this building here. This is kind of a winter town, almost like a Christmas village building, but I threw that in my village as well. I mean, look how gorgeous that looks. And again, you can feel the roof tiles. You can feel all these bricks. I just love that. I can't get over that. Again, doors open. You can get inside of this building by first, you can lift this roof space up here. Look at that. But what I wanted to show you was here's a door that's flush with the ground. Look at that. The scale is just excellent. In fact, his whole base can probably fit right in there. Look at that. Slide him right inside the door. Boom. How fantastic is that? Here's a part that's a little bit trickier to get into the interior of the first floor of this one. So unless you actually lift this off the table, you wouldn't even see this. But every detail, look, the stonework by the stairway is still painted. There are, there's basically what I'm trying to get at is there's no blank space. There's no wasted space whatsoever. You see shelves and treasure chests. Everywhere you look is art. I mean, that is just so beautiful. So that was an example of one. And our bakery, we'll put that back over here. Um, let's see. Uh, this. Let You know what? Let's just talk about the town wall. This town wall, it actually came with a couple of these little ladders. I put all these figures on here. They're probably all going to fall. But this needs to be discussed. Look at this. Look what I just did. I straightened this town wall out. This has been engineered. These buildings have all been so well engineered. It's insane. Look at this. Watch this. I'm going to modularly reshape this town wall. Now it's into a U shape. And imagine you get another one because the town wall kit comes with this wall and this tower which comes off and you can and see you can see how it punches these little tabs punch into those holes and there's tabs on either side and even this slanted piece comes off it's tabbed in there as well in case you wanted to do it a different way so you could tab it into here and then if you had another one of these wall kits you could put a tower here and have it wrap around to that side but i mean you get a few of these town walls you could build fortresses because look at this here's an l shape again you can make it a full straightaway you can just do it maybe a little 45 degree angle action there i mean you can the way this was created is insane. See how like the ramparts kind of overlap each other when it's straight like that. And then they turn just unbelievably. I am blown away. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that you can twist the walls and turn them, that's just insane. This uh, kind of archway, this main city gate is also fantastic. Again, all the doors work. And you can get inside there for sure. Here's a little tab on this one where you can open this to actually get inside. Again, the interiors are great. You can move your figure in there. Essentially just to show that he's in there. There's not, you know, a whole bunch of space in here to, you know, if you wanted to really get into the details of a tactical combat or anything, but you can absolutely put your figures in there. All right, let's see. What else? What else should we see here? This tall tower is very cool. This whole side folds down so you can get into there. And again, you can see, try to get it in the light. All the way in the back corners, things that you may not even see during a game. All the way into the, you know, the rafters. Everything is fully detailed. It's nuts. And I don't know, I don't think I mentioned this yet. No glue, no cutting. You punch it out like board game tokens and it all slots together. Obviously, you see all the slots. And honestly, I don't mind that. I don't, look at this. Does that not look amazing? Think about it, like 15, 15, 30, 60, 90, 120. So, you know, 120, 130 bucks. 
and that you get all of this right here. Here's an entire table's worth of terrain. That's absolutely incredible. Let's take a look at some other views here. This bridge, look at this old hag on the bridge. Look at this bridge house, open that up. Get into the bottom floor, stairway leads up to an upper floor. Everything is so detailed here, including where the doorway goes and where you can access things. So here's the door at the top of this tower. This uh, bends back. Look at all the detail up there. Um, yeah, you can get inside here, I believe, from right here. And boom, there's your ladder to the next floor. Like, they thought of everything. Like, this is absolutely insane. Just... Amazon search clever paper, and there's an absolute ton of these. Okay, so here was an example of one. I didn't put this one together yet, so I could show you how it comes. Flat packed, just like this. It's, it's in Russian, as you can see here, but that doesn't matter. And I'll show you the instructions, because there's, there's no language to read. Here's how the figures come. And here's their little foam bases. And then, as you can see, numbers for all the pieces. Just punch those out. All right, so here is a pile of the instructions of the buildings that I assembled. And as you can see, no scissors, no glue. And then here's what it looks like on the inside. So this is in Russian, but as you can see, the instructions, step one, step two, and the colored arrows, so do red arrows first, then green. So slot, you know, the twos into the three first before slotting the twos into the one, for example. And then here's some more steps. So here's all the steps. Now this one may have been a little more complex because uh, most of these are have a whole list of all the other buildings you can get like this. Look at all this stables, a tavern, a chapel, corner tower, hunting castle. And they have other model kits as well. Here is one where, um, this one's actually in English, the sailor's house. Now folks, this is one of the crazy few times I might recommend if you see two of the same sets and one's in Russian, one's in English, Go for the Russian one. Why? Here's what the English instructions look like. Okay, what do I do first? What do I do second? What do I do third? I have no clue. Do I go from here to here to here? Or, oh, I guess maybe I should go from here, then to here, then to here, then to here. They're not numbered. Isn't that weird? The Russian ones, step one, step two, and then over that way, three, four. The English ones have no numbers. You just kind of have to figure it out. And again, that's not a problem at all. It's very simple to kind of figure it out. I just thought it was bizarre. The Russian instructions are easier to follow than the English instructions. And that's not a one-off situation. Here's another English rules. And again, look at this one. Now where do you go? Now where's step one, two, three? Are you going across that way and then come back down here? Or do you come down? Like it's so bizarre. The English instructions have no numbers, but all of the Russian ones, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't that bizarre? Again, it's not hard to follow on the English ones, but just how bizarre is it that the Russian ones are actually the easier ones to follow in this instance? Folks. Clever paper, wargaming terrain. It's fantastic for using your actual figures. Of course, each building, I think I said this, comes with 10 to 12 of these cardstock figures, which are still great for NPCs or whatever you want to use them for because they are colored front and back. So it's not like the front image is on both sides. No, they actually have a distinct front and back, which is important, you know, if you need... Uh, front facing similar to this. Let's take a peek at this. See what's going on back here? Look at that th that murderous thug with his dagger coming after this poor woman with her shepherd's crook. 
Anyway, so I just thought this was absolutely fascinating. I wanted to get a video out there. Again, this is not a paid review or anything like that. These are literally birthday presents. So I don't have exact links to anything or pricing. I'm sure people are going to ask in the comments. Folks, just Amazon search Clever Paper and all your answers will be right there. But I wanted to throw my voice into the mix of how absolutely awesome these are for 25, 28 millimeter Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, Warhammer, Frostgrave, all of your miniature wargaming needs at a fraction of the price of some of the other ones. And yeah, I added these to my wish list. I didn't add more miniature building authority or anything like that to my birthday list. I actually asked for these for my birthday because I was so impressed. I cannot wait to actually use these in a game. They look gorgeous. All right, folks, that's enough. I could go on and on with singing their praise, but thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it, and until next time.